It's another day at the Lyft conference, and next to me is sitting Kustom Jackley. Yes. Right? Was right. it right? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's from Kosovo, and so it's really, really interesting to talk to him to learn about, uh, yeah, what kind of startup scene they have over there. So, Kustom, let's start with yourself. Tell me about yourself and your business. Well, I've been uh, involved in the online industry uh, some years back and uh, all the startups has to do with uh, internet and making people use of the internet more efficiently. Mm -hmm. So uh, you founded a social community in Kosovo? We just started a startup uh, and uh, that's uh, a social network in Albanian language. It's called Varavingo. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we that's the idea. So what can the people do there in that social network? Basically in the beginning we connect students and uh, we connect from the different universities in the same field of education we, and they automatically belong to groups in there. They interact via personal messaging and uh, also they, they... So the typical uh, features every social network has you also offer them? We uh, try to differentiate on, on uh, some elements which uh, we will launch in the future but uh, so you started then? Well, like a, a normal, normal social. In yeah. And when did you start it? Uh, we started last year, like the, the end of the last year. Okay. So. And how many users you have so far? We have uh, thousands of users, which joined immediately after we, and it was well accepted, and it's still growing. Okay, that sounds good. So, how many inhabitants does the Kosovo have? Kosovo has 2.2 million inhabitants. But if you speak about the, the, the region, there lives around uh, the Albanian speaking region is around uh, uh, 7 million. Mm -hmm. But the one that are in, in internet, we can count on half of the, uh, the, of the 7 million. So it's around 3.5 million. Yeah. Oh, it's quite small. Is it an interesting market yet? It is an emerging market, that's why it's interesting. And uh, I, I mean, the you believe in your market in your country. Yeah, I do believe because it's a consumer market in the beginning now. I mean, as in all emerging states. So, and uh, this, I mean, we are proud to be the the first, the first one to enter the market, and also. Mm -hmm. So, how is it about the startup scene? Where is there existing uh, any startup scene? Slowly emerging, and it's existing. There are some uh, some small companies, some small interactive uh, design companies that are, okay. and uh, so you wouldn't even call it a startup scene. Or well, there is no uh, hedge funds and then venture capitalists who invest on on startup scene, and, but uh, so promote the Kosovo for uh, VCs and uh, investment companies. What are the advant uh, What are the advantages? <laughs> but also, what are the advantages of the Kosovo to to go there and invest? Well, Kosovo has 50% uh, of young population. Uh, for the last 10 years, we had uh, we have been uh, uh, United Nations administrative, and uh, that means like we all speak English, mm -hmm. and the majority of people have a good uh, skill, mm -hmm. education in English and, and entrepreneurship. The the motivation is really high and. Uh, is it also a good place for outsourcing programming uh, stuff? Yes, I mean, the many uh, small Kosovo company also, the many big companies outsource in Kosovo as well. So, so you make contacts? In field. I try, I mean, I'm, I can be the hub, I can make contracts, I can make contacts, not the contracts. But uh, also, you know, we, there are a lot of interesting companies from the West who are doing this. Uh, last year you have been a speaker here at the Lyft conference. What were you talking about? Last year I, I spoke about uh, a uh, free online education tool we built in Kosovo, um, which, is, uh, which maps and mirrors the ECDL. ECDL stands for European Computer Driving License. And uh, the, the, the online platform graduated 6,000 uh, Kosovars for free. Instead of uh, paying for the education, they got it for free. And uh, in uh, October last year, we won the, the best practice award by the ECDL Foundation in Europe. So. Yeah, very nice. So you believe in free education through internet? I believe. I mean, I believe uh, on the free access mm -hmm. and free education uh, in Kosovo. After, I mean, we are an emerging country and. The need of education is really, is really high, and so people, so companies are trying to use this by having expensive training courses. So what, the my alternative was like we will offer free content so people can learn, and the and the the response was, what was expected. So. Yeah. 
So what are your wishes for the future of the Kosovo area related to startups and uh, technology uh, development? It's going to be much more developed. And uh, I mean, we didn't have this much startups and, and the venture capitals interesting on us, but because of the political issues. But so, what uh, are your wishes? My wishes is that uh, we can create as much startup. Let's say so we can create 50 startups per, per year and incubators where the people and can join. And there are some initi small initi local initiatives which I support them. So you are sort of a lead figure in that startup scene or building up a startup scene in the Kosovo? Are you promoting the idea? Are you inspiring others? Are you helping others? Or? I run a blog which, I, uh, which I, I write in English and that is also a channel which many companies can see about what is the startup scene in, in, in three countries. How is it called? It's uh, it's my surname dot com, which is my jockley dot com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I run. <laughs> Very <since> humble. <laughs> uh, it's really uh, hard to spell, but I run it since 2003. So it's yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. So so one success story, uh, another one beside yours. Uh, one success story of a Kosovo startup. Yeah, I mean, this one is the one that I'm running currently. It's it's pretty good. I mean. And beside, and beside you, are there other people who have good ideas? Yes, I mean, there are some uh, smaller companies who do design mm -hmm. and they are creating some innovative stuff, which I, I cannot tell in details because uh, I, I might not know. Quite it's quite new, but uh, there are also, we have a, 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 we have a LinkedIn, for example, in, in Kosovo. Mm -hmm. uh, the, there is a guy who, who takes the, the, ca the cards of the companies and he lists on the line and you can go and search for it. Mm -hmm. And that's also some other companies. Or so we can expect a lot of new stuff, new ideas coming up in the Kosovo area. What What is really interesting is that uh, you know, there are some copy copy paste ideas happening, but they are not so well sustainable, you know, because mm -hmm. they lack funding. But mm -hmm. but uh, sometimes there are some companies start as a, as a copy from the West, you know, or from the United States, and then uh, they turn to be something really much cooler. And okay. so that's what I'm hoping for. Okay. Yeah. So we hope with you, and uh, I hope actually to see much more startups coming out of that area. Well, at first I would like to invite you to come down. I will. I yeah. would love to see some stuff around there. And uh, f I mean, and hopefully that uh, in next years we will uh, manage to organize possibly maybe a, a conference or something. So then uh, people Sounds can great. be much Sounds more, great. and and, uh, and it, the market will be educated, and and also the West will be educated to come and in, in invest in startups, mm -hmm. and we can create an a bad, good ecosystem then. Okay, so sounds amazing. I wish you good luck with that. Thank and you, Belinda. Yes. Thank you.